So if you guys want to know a fun fact about Tigard High School right here, a, a famous celeb actually attended this high school. Can you guess who it was? But we're not focused on that today. Today, I want to talk about how the city of Tigard became a city. So if you guys were ever wondering, where did uh, Tigard get its name from? Well, uh, let me tell you guys something. It was actually based off of a real person, a real family. So I want to talk about the story of a man named Wilson Tigard. So originally, Wilson Tigard and his family came from White River, Arkansas. They were just, you know, farmers that wanted to live a normal, everyday life. And so, you know, uh, sorry to cut off the story, guys. There was a person passing by me, and I didn't want to capture her on video without her permission. But anyway, uh, moving on. So anyway, uh, Mr. Tiger and his family always had their farms uh, being flooded all the time. The White River would always flood. And it was just damaging so much of their property that Wilson one day, he had enough. So he packed up a wagon, took his belongings and his family with him, and they set off to go on a 2000 six month trip to Oregon and so yeah they were on that trail for a very long time with their wagon and their ox just keep in mind that during this time this was this was obviously during the pioneer times you know there was no cars there was no cell phones so and there was no GPS's so you can imagine how brutal the conditions were on this trail so yeah, when, when they were on the trail, they really struggled. Um, the nasty disease that killed a lot of the pioneers, and I mean a lot of the pioneers, uh, ended up killing like 120 of the people in the other wagons. And Wilson's mom, she actually got the disease, but in 600 she uh, survived. Feet, turn right onto Southwest 98th Avenue. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just got my GPS set for... Uh, finding uh, Mr. Tiger's house, so yeah, just ignore that. But anyway, so his mom got the disease, and then she, thankfully, she survived. So, Wilson and his family spent six months on this trail with their ox until they finally reached the Dowells, and this year was around 1852. So they get to the Dowells, and Mr. Tiger has no choice but to sell his ox for just $100. That's how great inflation was back then, guys. So, yeah, after he sells his ox, he uses the money to buy food and to feed his family. So, eventually, they left the Dowells and went to Milwaukee. And so, as you know, they didn't have a lot of... Take the next right onto Southwest 98th Avenue. Yeah, so our street's going to be coming up here pretty soon. But I'll tell you guys the rest uh, once you get to the side of the street. So they left the Dowells, right? So then they ended up in Milwaukee. And again, they couldn't stay for very long because of the lack of supplies that they had. So they traveled here in this uh, very location where I'm at. And uh, they settled here in a very small log cabin. So Mr. Tiger, you know, had to limit the supplies of food, the supplies of food that he had. And uh, they pretty much had to live off of potatoes for months. They didn't have any meat. They didn't have any, anything protein-wise. So you can imagine that they were very skinny. And uh, so Mr. Tigard bought some property off of a guy where Bull Mountain is to this day. And uh, so pretty soon we're going to be going to the house where him and his family used to live. Well, it's, it's their uh, third house, I think, where they lived at. And uh, because they lived at two other houses before that. 
Um, so yeah, he bought the property off of a couple of people. And like I said, all this at one time, it was just woods. There was, uh, like I said, there was none of these streets. It was just all woods. So what Wilson Tigard is best known for is uh, just building the small little community of Tigard. He built the schoolhouses. He built a lot of the buildings. And he helped become Tigard for the city that, what I mean is he helped build the, t the city of Tigard, which is what it is today. Thanks to, uh, thanks to Wilson. So, uh, my GPS is going to be telling me pretty soon, uh, that we're going to be reaching the house. I think it's going to be coming up here on the left of this, uh, crosswalk pretty soon. Yeah, so we're going to be going to the third house where, uh, Wilson Tiger and his family lived at. Well... I think it's based off of his son or his brother or somebody. It's called the John Tigard House. And, uh, yeah, that's where Wilson uh, lived in his uh, final years of life. But the reason, I mean, I know you guys weren't wondering, but the reason I also don't go on about these stories, like I'm not a YouTuber that spends, like, his whole time just ranting or or going on and on about a story and then the viewer gets bored and then turns off the video so what I'm saying is I just like to get to the point I don't like to go on and on about it but uh, yeah so the house that I'm going to be uh, going to soon um, it originally used to be on the left side of the highway over here but then in the 1970s it was becoming very deteriorated it was getting deteriorated is starting to crumble so the city wanted to save it and now it's on the national historic landmarks list i think um we're going to be reaching the street of it soon i think yeah i'm out here and it's a really quiet neighborhood there's no sidewalks out here so yeah we're going to be uh turning i think to this street now Thought I'd stop to look at this very pretty art right here. Huh. Nice. Okay, guys, we are getting really close to the house because this is the forest area where um, Mr. Uh, Tiger made a... Uh, where he wanted to buy the land from this area right here. So this park is actually based off of what it originally, what the town actually used to be called at one point. So at one time, this is what it was called. And uh, so I can tell we're getting really close to the historic site. So like I said, this is what Tiger used to look like in the 1850s, just trees everywhere. So I think um, if, I, if I'm out of breath, it's just that there's a lot of hills out here. <laughs> but I think we're getting close. All right, guys, we are here. Here is the former Tigard residence. Here's the house. It's funny how the house is uh, right next to where the where he bought the land off of that one guy. So, like I said, this is not where the house used to be. Um, it was on the left side of the highway, again. Huh, very pretty uh, Victorian-style house. Yeah, very pretty. And as you guys know, it's a museum, and you guys can call it any time for a tour. This place yeah but this was built by uh, Wilson and his family yeah, look at that woodwork that's so cool
gonna see if I can zoom into that plaque right there. No, the quality's not that good, but yeah, I, let me guys know if you can read that or not. All right, um, we're gonna leave the Tiger residence now. Later. Yeah, so um, the reason I wasn't at the residence for very long is that, like I said, if you guys are ever making these videos, make sure you guys don't hang out for too long because it is very disrespectful and it's actually considered trespassing to be at a property for too long. So, and every YouTuber is going to give this advice to their viewers, but yeah, just be careful about hanging out at a property for too long. I've kind of learned that the <laughs> hard way of uh, being there for too long. So yeah, just be careful. All right, so it's kind of interesting how Wilson actually uh, died. Well, what I mean is there really isn't a lot of uh, a lot of details or information on how he died. I mean, all I found was this um, on Google saying that he died uh, like a work accident or something. He died around 1882. So you guys knowing my videos, you uh, know that we're going to be going to his final resting place at uh, Crescent Grove Cemetery. That is where uh, Mr. Tigard is uh, laid to rest. And I mean, it only makes sense for him to be laid to rest there. All right, guys, we're here at Crescent Grove Cemetery now, and I've been here before many times. And so on Find a Grave, it said that Wilson's gonna be in the middle of this uh, graveyard. And I think I found his grave. I think that might, that might be him. Oh wait, no, never mind. That's not him. Or maybe that's him over there. Actually, yep. There, I uh, found his gravestone. All right, guys, well, I found him. Here is the final resting place of Wilson M. Tigert. Here's his grave. He even says the description here on the bottom. He died uh, August 13th, 1882. Wow. That is so cool. Thought a little, little something for Mr. Tiger. Of course, we can't leave the cemetery without paying a very special visit to one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time. And yep, you know this grave very well. Roddy Piper. Good to see you, Mr. Piper. Yeah, his grave was really easy to find, just like Roddy Piper's uh, Mr. Tiger. He wasn't that hard to find. Well, guys, um, thank you for watching this video today. Make sure, of course, as always, you like and subscribe, and more of these are coming your way. All right, guys, it's really hot, hot out here, so I got to get going now. So uh, have a good one.